Hi, this is Elena with Black Sheep 303 Creative, and my project today is what I think is a really, really pretty fall card using the Spellbinders October 20th uh, or October 2020 Small Die of the Month kit. So I'm starting off with a piece of cold press watercolor paper and my life changing blender brushes and some distress oxides. And I'm going to just sort of smush on the various fall colors I've got going here in sort of random sections of this piece of watercolor paper in order to cover the entire piece. So I'm using in distress oxides, mustard seed, bundled sage, carved pumpkin, candied apple, and aged mahogany. And I'm just gonna like kind of add them on the paper just sort of here and there until the entire thing is filled in because I know I'm going to be die cutting um, the little leaves that come in the die set out of this piece of paper. So I'm going to spray the entire uh, sheet with my distress sprayer because my goal is to get the colors to sort of run and blend together the way they sort of blend very organic, way fall colors blend organically on fall leaves. I didn't want to have like any harsh borders and I love this sort of veining effect that's happening right now. <laughs> And some of it will kind of blend too much or lighten up too much. So I'm going to add a little more bundled sage and then a little more aged mahogany here and there to kind of keep the color interesting and the variety um, uh, kind of all over the page. Nothing's too much any one color because I knew I'd be die cutting out lots of little pieces out of this. And I'm going to spray it again and then blot it off with some paper towel to sort of create spots. I do this a couple times. Honestly, on the tiny leaves, it doesn't really show up, but I do think when you see the piece here, right there, all dried, it does add a little something. Now, this is the fabulous die set. As I mentioned, it is from Spellbinders. Uh, this can come as a subscription kit, like as for the small die of the month, or you can usually buy them separately, like as a one-time only purchase um, after the month has ended. So really cool. And they have so many really nice ones. There is, this is called the uh, Fall Leaves Card Creator. So it's going to create like a frame for a card and then have a bunch of extra little embellishments. And that's what I'm cutting out of the watercolor paper right now are the little extra leaves. So you'll see here as I undo them that you get a whole bunch of tiny little leaves that you can use to embellish the frame piece um, that is what sort of makes up the bulk of the card. So these are all my components. And you can see I've cut a lot of leaves. I have an A2 sized um, card base made out of Fun Stamper's Journey Grape Fusion cardstock. Then these are the corner pieces for what I'm calling the card frame. I have four of those. And then the connector pieces, I've got two of those. And they have a whole bunch of leaves cut from the watercolor piece as well as some Gina K metallic gold and then I die cut the word grateful twice once out of Gina K's sweet corn and once out of the grape fusion cardstock there are also the words blessed and thankful in the die set too and then this oval was die cut out using the stitched ovals die set from Elizabeth craft designs and that is out of Gina K metallic gold and I also have metallic gold leaves die cut out as well now to adhere the frame together, I am going to be using my skinny glue with my liquid glue from Art Glitter Glue. And I'm adhering like this, so this is the connector piece going to the corner piece. I'm adhering the, the outline piece to the solid piece on the corner, and then the outline piece on the corner to the solid piece on the connector piece. How many times can I say the word piece? Anyway, <laughs> and then I'm using that straight edge to keep the sides of the corners um, aligned because believe me from experience, you can easily go a little bit wonky on this. And if you do that, it won't fit on your card properly on your card base, it'll look off. So using the straight edge comes in handy. And I did learn that from the Spellbinders video for this um, set, just so you know, did not come up with that on my own. So you can see it's really just a matter of uh, gluing the little connection points together the you know frame piece on top of the solid piece and then you are good to go just let that dry a little bit and it's really really stunning just all on its own you don't necessarily need all the extra embellishments depending on how you did this you could just use the frame all on its own on top of your card base obviously 
Now I'm gonna adhere this down onto the front and there is a little bit of a border all the way around on all four sides. So it makes a very, very pretty card. Hence why it's called the Fall Leaves Card Creator. And I'm just uh, wiping up any extra glue I got spilled out around the edge. Now, here we go with all my leaves. Now I die cut out the small leaves, I think four times each out of the watercolor paper and then two or three times out of the gold metallic paper. And so I'm going to just adhere these down on top of the frame, uh, brown frame individually, kind of making sure that I'm scattering the colors and the gold pieces sort of strategically and evenly all the way around the frame. And then I'll just adhere them down with my liquid glue there. And although it is eh, slightly time consuming, it's really not that bad. And honestly, the result is pretty awesome. You could also decide to not cover all the brown leaves. You could leave some showing. It's totally up to you. That's what's kind of fun about these. You can do as much or as little as you like, and it's not really, it doesn't take that much time. And look at how fun that is in the end. I was really happy with how, especially how those watercolored leaves came out, like so pretty. So nice. Anyway, <laughs> now I'm going to adhere my two grateful words together. I'm going to offset them so that the purple becomes kind of like a sort of a shadow behind the yellow piece, um, showing up just a little bit um, off to one side of the, of the yellow grateful word. And then I'll just adhere this down to the middle of the oval. Now you might notice that I've got these gems on the card, but or actually they're pearls right now. Ignore that because we're going to change those. I'm bumping up the uh, sentiment in the center on some foam squares and I'm I, so these are like light blue pearls to go with the big light blue pearls that are in the on the connector pieces from the frame but it's at this point I'm looking at it and I'm like I just don't like it so I'm going to change and I hadn't pushed those down to really adhere them so I could pull them all off and I've decided to go instead with like a light green gem color instead and I was really happy with how that came out even though I really like turquoise on fall cards I don't know, for some reason that just wasn't working for me. And you probably already know that grouping things in odd numbers is most appealing to humans. So visually, so that is why I am kind of messing around with my grouping on the front of, on the middle of the grateful here. And I'm gonna wind up with five, so a nice odd number. And that's it, that's the completed card. Really, really easy, really fun. It takes a little time, but not that much. And honestly, the result is pretty awesome if I do say so myself. And really all the work is done for you with the die set. I think the watercolor leaves also turned out amazing and I love that technique and I'll be using that again in the future for sure. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope I've inspired you a little bit and please check out those um, value die sets or subscriptions over at Spellbinders. They're really worth the money. Very, very uh, good value. Anyway, thanks so much. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. As always, supplies are linked in the video description and over my blog. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I would appreciate it if you do that as well. And then please, I'm wondering, what is your favorite technique for creating fall color on your leaves this season on your cards? Let me know in the comments. Thanks so much. Have a great day.